morning all of you. My name is Shruti Sharma and I am from class 5th from Kerala Independent School, Kalki Ambala. Today my topic is on summer vacation. Summer vacation are the holidays. These come in summer season every year. It gives a break from daily routine to children. Students are happy as they get a long vacation during summer. Children go for a trip with their parents. Children enjoy a lot during this period. It exchanges the knowledge of students. Summer vacation refreshes student mind. It it led to learn learn the new things. The mental and physical development of child also take place during this period. Thank you. Good morning, all of you. My name is Radhit Kumar Jaisi. I study at class fifth at Career Defence School, Kalpi Ambala. Today, I tell about you summer vacation. Summer is the hottest season in the year. Children enjoy summer break as school are closed, and this is the time. when they visit their grandparents summer vacation gives students real life from the regular institute they can do all the activities they like they like as exam get over head they, they they feel free and enjoy spending their time with their family some children goes to summer camp and they do lots of other things there like camping and trekking in some children goes to summer vacation some children goes to meet their relatives and grandparents and eat lots of fruits like mango and watermelon etc i also go to visit my grandparents my grandparents lives in mumbai i go for morning walk with my grandpa and my mother and my grandma makes delicious food thank you good morning all of you my name is aman priya and i am studying in 9th standard in career defense school i am from hamirpur district of himachal pradesh and today in this video i am just talking about national integration so how many of you know about the national integration i think some of you know about it so now i am today i am explain about it so national integration what do you mean about it national integration uh, it's mean rashtriya ekta you can say unity so india is the best example for the national integration because many of the people it consisting of the people from the different backgrounds this culture and various religions national integration brings in a harmony of the varied diversity together in its land so it would be a great feeling if india could properly implement the idea of this in the past everybody know there has been a uh, poor national integration which the history remembers until now thus After independence, several measures were undertaken by the Jawaharlal Nehru. You can say the first Prime Minister. Uh, it's uh, his government to implement the idea of the national integration by setting up the National Integration Council in 1961. The population of India has a huge variety of the people who live together but have a conflicting opinion. In such case, national disintegration and disunity may become the common and evil to the society. it would destroy the harmonious image of the nation people might suffer from the indignities and demands from the lack of the integrity this disintegration could be the main cause of the several national crises and the partition of country there were several instances where we can find the lack of national unity resulting in the demise of a special power such as the mughal i will uh, give you example uh, like mughals attack in the india where there was no unity we all know that there was no unity between the rajputs these in- incidents are past now and remain to find in the pages now india is a free country as you all know that and unity must be restored it could, uh, should communicate in the minds of the people that we belong to one nation and we must together to move forward as a strong independent nation in today's india political integration is there you have you know uh, everybody know however there is still lack of emotional integration we hope that soon but india will achieve its emotional unity and preserve its national in 
integration without which the nation's progress is incomplete so thanks all of you and uh, one more point regards covid 19 be safe be at home be happy be healthy thanks to curry family Class 8, a career defense school, Kalpi Ambala. As we all know that English has become an essential language in our daily lives, as it is used all over the world, and it is said that English is the easiest language. So today we are going to talk about English as a global language. The meaning of a global language is a language spoken internationally and used by several people as their second language. English is a global language in that context. English is a very effective language and it is proved by its native and non-native speakers. Uh, statistics show that already one-fourth of the world use fluent English. Though Chinese speakers are greater, but Chinese is still not a global language because of its letter system, grammar and spellings. <coughs> Since English is so widely spoken, Many have taken English as their second language. English allows a common communication between different background people. Thank you and I am very grateful to the teachers and principal who gave me this opportunity to speak about this awesome topic. Namaste and have a nice day. Wait a second. I said Namaste because we should absolutely uh, learn different languages as well as English, but we should never forget our national language, which is Hindi. So, Namaste and have a nice day. Good morning, everybody. I am Anurag Maurya, 9th class from Kerry Defense School, Ambana. Today, I am going to keep my opinions on World Health Day. Hey, what does health mean to you? The state of physical, mental and social well-being in the absence of any diseases. Sounds familiar, right? For many people, it is the foundation to do things in the life which they love. To enjoy company of others, to work, to play, to learn, to laugh. Health is life. But do you all know? There is no one in the world who can say that he is healthy in real means. We know that there is cure for every familiar diseases we have heard about. But then why are humans dying? Are that medicines really able to cure diseases? Yes, they are. But the major cause be behind this is tension and lack of awareness. It would be quite difficult to explain about that without having the knowledge how did human try to spread awareness about these problems. So let's have a peek in the past. In 1948, World Health Organization held its first health assembly and decided to celebrate 7th April from 1950 as World Health Day. This was to mark the World Health Organization's founding and, as, and is seen as an opportunity by the organization to draw worldwide attention to a subject of major importance on a global health each year. Prevention is better than the cure. As this was true, WHO's officials took it quite seriously. Every human was valuable to them and his life too. They started to use this day as an international health awareness campaign. World Health Day was being celebrated in schools and colleges with great eagerness to learn about diseases and their preventions as it was essential for every citizen to know and be careful with each step, especially in this time of pandemic. And I personally have a feeling of gratitude to such a day from the depth of my heart. Mr. 
Thrifty Joes and my friends. My name is Athos. I am studying in 7th class. I am from Himachal Pradesh. Today I am here to deliver a speech on World Health Day. In human life, health is essential. Health is wealth. If an individual is wealthy, but his health is poor, then he has no use for his wealth. To live a happy and good life, individual should have good health. Health is a primary cause of many things in life, such as work, stress, thoughts, etc. If a person is healthy, he will do well in his job or work, he will be free from many illness and he will be emotionally calm and healthy. For good health, a healthy diet, nutrition and exercise should be observed. World Health Day to understand the importance of health and to draw people's attention to health is celebrated worldwide on April 7th every year. This, the decision to celebrate on April 7th was decided upon by the World Health Council that was held by the World Health Organization in 1948 and was put into effect in 1950. World Health Day aims to raise awareness of specific health issues. Each year, a particular theme is decided upon and celebrated across the world. That's why numerous activities, events, competitions such as quiz, essay writing, speeches, exhibition, etc. were organized on World Health Day to raise awareness of the importance of health. I will encourage all of you to pay attention to your health. Take some time to work out in one day. Adopt good habits as much as possible. Consider eating home cooked meals. Lastly, I want to say please Please monitor your every habit and create awareness among others. I hope that all of you, us, will eventually make the world more aware and alert about our healthy habits and well-being. Thanks and have a nice day. Good morning everyone. My name is Athadu Pachauri, class 3rd. This is uh, my gun, my favorite gun named 3.2 gun. It's a black color. I play thief police with a gun. It is fired to shoot pull the slide back then trigger press. Experience is needed to run. It don't drive it without a license six goalie can heal it. Police use this gun. Guards hold gun. I when I grow up, I will shoot gun. The real gun. A pistol is a handgun. Use of gun. You can protect yourself with gun. Gun is very useful for us. Army gun is used. I want to do sport shooting. I will defend my country with this gun. Thank I love my gun. Thank you, ma'am. Today I am going to tell you about my birthday party. My birthday party is Ayushar. I celebrate my birthday on 8th February on every year. I wait for this day and I enjoy it a lot. I wear uh, new clothes to, to school and distribute chocolate among uh, my friend and teacher. All my classmates sing to happy birthday to me and wish me. My parents organize a party at home. All my friends and relatives are invited. We cut the cake and then play many games like passing the particle and musical chair. Musical chair. And we also eat many varieties of snacks like samosa, cutel sandwich and club jam. Everyone gifts bring gifts for me. 
my birthday, I my parents give us ice and my, my parents give us ice and my grandfather give some video game. Uh, I also received various gifts from my all friends like uh, color pen, painting color set, pen set, clothes and many more things. Thank you. Have a nice day. Everyone, my name is Mirinda Singh, uh, studying in the Career Defense School Ambala. Today I am here to deliver a speech before you on the topic national integration. National integration. It is a bond of togetherness between the people irrespective of their caste, creed, religion and gender is a national integration. This is a feeling of oneness and brotherhood in a country where the diversity is the main choice. National integration keeps the entire country taut and strong. Despite the differences in culture, language and the main livelihood, an integrated nation will always be progress toward progress toward the development and prosperity. Aims of national integration. A country like India has people from different culture, language and races and national integration is not just aim to bind them together but also aims to the it nurtures communal harmony and casterian and ling linguistics differences. It improves the feeling of loyalty toward the nation and aims at the unity of people, uniting the people in case of emergency. National integrators focus on all the sections of the society, thereby making them financially independent. Throughout it, state aims to promote economic integration to no foreign assault can even break the back of nation that is united in the true sense. Education, social and cultural unity and equal access to all basic rights and amenities foster a sense of integrity in the citizen of a country. Importance of national integration. National integration plays a crucial role in the. Hello everyone, I am David Munger of class 5th A. I study in Career Defense School, Kalpambala. And the first good morning to all my respected teacher and my dear friends. So today I am here to make this video on the importance of English. So I begin. At the first. English is one of the most spoken languages in the world. English is, is very important communication languages now in schools, colleges and in universities. English is also used in offices. If we want to study abroad, we need to know English and English helps us to get admission in better schools. And if I give you an example of a businessman going to a business trip on outer countries, he need to know English to make him better and prove him better and be nice to the people around there in his country trip. And back to the point, I am going to tell you about English. And English is used in many areas like in computers we need English, in st for studies we need English and everything we do we need English. And if I talk about our India, in India there are many people from different states and countries coming to visit us for our old monuments built by our emperor rulers and back to the point. And if I tell you that English is the most spoken language in the world and if we don't know English we can do nothing in our life. And if I say you that 50% of our majority does not know English and they know a little bit of English. and if at the last I say you that if we don't know English, we can't do anything in our life and we can't go out our state and in our state we know only one language. In India, if I tell you, the Indians don't, don't know that much of English. The, the ones who have learned, done out their studies, they only know English. And they can go out to the freedom of their lives in other continents and countries. 
and those who don't know and do, who are not graduated in their studies, they only know Hindi and they can't go out. Thank you. Morning, teachers, and my dear friends. I am Dhaira Chetri, studying in fifth day at Career Defence School in Kalpi Ambala, Kent. Today, I am here to tell a slogan on importance of English. So I am starting. English is the one of the most spoken language in the world. English has become a compulsory language for communication in school and colleges. It is used. It is also used in office. If you want to study abroad, English helps us to get admission in school and colleges we want. There are many people come from other states in India and from other countries to communicate with them. We need a language that is English. If we know English, we can face any interview and travel anywhere in the world. It is a most important language for us. It is used in many areas like computer, science, etc. If to operate a com computer, we know English and these are the quality of English and our life. Thank you and have a nice day. Good morning, all respective teachers, principal, ma'am, and dear. My name is Dr. Gautamange. Our topic is Festival of India. India is a diverse land with many festivals. Every year, people Sidli way for the survival of festivals. Indian festival reflect the culture and religious diversity. The atmosphere is filled with joy and happiness. Whether a person is poor, middle class or rich, every individual festival according to its financial capability. Festivals are divided as religious, national and seasonal. Religious festivals are Diwali, Dasera, Durga Puja, Ganesh Chaturji, etc. Seasonal festivals are the Holi, Holi, Bihu, Pongal, Ona, Baisakhi, etc. National festival are Independence Day, Republic Day and Gandhi Jayanti. Holi and Diwali are the famous festival of India. Good morning everyone. My name is Sun. I am studying class 6 in Canada Defense School. Today my topic is Summer Vacation. Summer Vacation is a movement of fun for all children. When schools are closed and there is no study, this is the happiest movement for children. As they get the long holiday from studies, this is the time to visit their native place and other tourist place of India and the world. Many children also visit to their grandparents and, and enjoy spending time with their uncle, aunt and cousins by playing games and visiting places. Children also join various acad various courses and extracular games. Students of senior class also take admission in training institutes which train their academic many academic activities. Children also join cricket academy, music and dance school, mountain gym and trekking school. Schools also give Schools also give a summer vacation assignment to students as they all close. Summer vacation is considered as the best movement in the student life and they enjoy the funnest. Thank you and have a nice day. My deeper powers within ourselves comes when life seems to be most challenging. These lines are quoted by James Campbell. With these lines, I, Pallavi Sandhu of class 11th, wishes you all a very astonishing and safe good afternoon. So, I, Pallavi of Kerry Defence School, is going to speak on a topic, English as a Global Language. During the late 18th century, British government had spread English 
through its colonies and geopolitical dominance. It is not only spread because of the British colonization and American imperialization, but it is spread because of its flexibility and adaptability. It also spread because of economic power of the native speakers. So, English has got a global status language. Moreover, English is a language of technology. To know the best use of internet, knowing, in, knowing English is very important. English also enhances tourism as it helps in better communication with them. English is an international language. An international meeting also helps in English. So it is very important. English is a language of English is English helps in better educations and skills. English is very important in our day-to-day -day life. Any any topic or or any subject is written in English or are simply translated into English because majority of our community speaks English. Now, English is very important for education point of view. For higher skills for better jobs and for money and salaries english is very important for our cult for our country's development english is very important for community for diplomacy for for diplomacy for meetings for conferences anybody is any so much educated but without english it cannot success it cannot get success to go to other countries or to get success, a person need to be a English educator. So I want to say something to you all. That is, if we have Cadbury's chocolate, we want to eat it and we are so eager to eat it, but we don't have the teeth to eat. Tell me, do we able to eat it? No, na. So this is how English is. So speak English. English is very easy, as you all know. So English is. English helps our country also so that's too developed. So I according to me, English is very important. And importance of English cannot be denied. So with this, I end my topic. I hope you all enjoyed it and thank you for giving your precious time to me. Thank you. My name is Purita Singh. I'm from class 10 so in studying in CDS School, Career Defense School, Ambala. Uh, today I'm here to deliver a speech on World Health Day in human life. Health is essential, which is said that health is wealth. If an individual is wealthy but his his health is poor, then he has no use of for wealth. To live a happy life and good life, individuals should have a good health. Health is primary cause of many things in life, such as work, stress, stress and thoughts. If a person is healthy, he will do well in his job and work. He will be he will be free from many illnesses. He will be emotionally calm and healthy. For good health, a healthy diet, nutrition, and exercise should be observed. World Health Day is celebrated to understand importance of health and to draw people's attention towards health. It is celebrated on April 7th every year. Health is important for everyone, especially children. Most of the time, children spend in kindergarten, preschools and schools. Many illnesses are infectious and they are most prey when they around when they are around other school students. It is Therefore, important to inform students about the value of good behavior and well-being. That's why numerous activities, events, competitions, and such as quizzes, essay writing, speeches, ex exhibits, etc. Were organ are organized on World Health Day to raise awareness of, of the importance of health among preschool, school, and college students. I will encourage you on World Health Day to pay attention towards your health. Thanks and have a nice day. Hey everyone, my name is Rai Singh. I am studying in 10th class in Career Defense School, Ambala. Today I am giving a speech on the topic 
English as a global language as the global communication expands throughout the world so does need for a global language English has become the major part in many parts of the world English is a very effective language it is proved by the native and non native speaker all over the world the statistics suggest that nearly half of the world's population is familiar with this language moreover english is a easier to learn than any other language for example unlike chinese english has only 26 alphabet which put together form words adding to that number of english words are borrowed from many other languages and many english words are borrowed in other languages as are used as part of their own language furthermore english is a language of technology to make the best use of internet knowing the english is necessary also any international meeting will be probably done in english it also make tourism is as it help in better understanding among the people however may many fear that english as a global language would result in an extension of local culture which are inter related with regional language moreover it is bounded to be divided into dialects another drawback is that the work of many authors and writers who are blogging to different territory become incomprehensible in conclusion i believe that there are many advantages than disadvantages in global learning english language in the future the demand for english would rise as the more number of people are learning this language and would decrease the nation barrier thank you good morning teachers and my dear friends my name is rishi sharma my school name is kolyadi friends school ambala i study in grade 6 today i am going to speak about some of the questions Summer vacation is a moment of fun for children when school are closed and there are no trains. It is the happiest moment of children as they get a long holiday from the studies. This is the time to visit the native places and other tourist places of India and the world. Many children visit their grandparents and enjoy spending time with their uncles, aunts, and cousins by playing games and visiting places. Children also join various courses. and extracurricular activities children of senior prefer to take admission in some training institute which train them for various academic activities children also join cricket academy dance and music school mountaineering and trekking schools school give summer vacation assignment to the children as they stay close to their studies summer vacation is considered to be as the best time of in the life the student as they enjoy the fullness thank you and have a nice day good morning students and respected teachers my name is rohit and i am studying class 10 today i am here to deliver a speech on world health day the world health day is celebrated on 7 april each year the health day is observed all over the world to make people aware of the advantages of being well World Health Day is celebrated worldwide. The founding of World Health Organization WHO in 1948. It is necessary to make individuals aware that health is wealth. We need to recognize that wealth is an important component of our lives. So, keeping yourself safe and fit. Thank you. Good morning, teachers and my dear friends. My name is Akshi Patel. I read in class six at Career Design School, Ambala. Today I am going to tell you the importance of English. English is one of the most spoken languages in the world. English has become a compulsory language for communication in school and colleges. English is also used in offices when we want to study abroad. English helps us to get admission in college. We want there are people from other states in India. and from other countries too to communicate with them we need a language and that is english if we know english we can face any interview and travel anywhere in the world it is the languages used in many areas like computer science 
stories etc in order to learn to learn how to operate a computer we should know english english is very essential to improve yourself but learning english also enhances the quality of life thank you have a nice day good afternoon my name is sandhya i read in 6th class i study in kerry defense school ambala today my topic is my birthday party birthday so as a trendy occasion when my friends and my family living near and far everyone gather together birthday are usually celebrated by cutting a cake and blowing candles in most of the cultures my parents celebrate my birthday with a great joy and excitement they invite my old friends and relatives on my special day my mother bake a delicious cake on my birthday my father decorate my whole house with color balloons and streamers i received the lot of gifts and best wishes from my friends and relatives on my last birthday my parents gave me a pink color bicycle with a new teddy thank you hello i'm shani mishra from class 8th in kerala defense school today i'm going to tell you about my topic unity in diversity india is called the land of unity in diversity where people of different religion caste and culture live together this represents the harmony and brotherhood of this diversified country india india is famous for its rich cultural heritage all over the world due to people who follow different religions and cultures there are some people in each religion who follow the spiritual tradition there are many languages spoken in india but the mother tongue of india is hindi however all the citizens of this country feel proud and lucky to be the citizen of india as a responsible citizen of india we must try to protect this unique feature of our country because india is famous for its unity and diversity all over the world thank you for listening to my topic hope you all liked it and have a very great day Good morning everyone. My name is Tarun Malik. I am studying in class 3. Today my topic is my country India. I am extremely proud of my country India. It is the biggest democracy in the world. We are also the second most populated country after China. We are seventh most industrialized nation in the world. Our economy is among the top 5 so is the strength of our army. India is the best example of the praise unity in diversity people of all religions can be living here many different languages were spoken here it is said that after every 100 km or so one can observe a change in food clothes language and houses every region has its sound festival and its sound custom the snow clad himalayan mountain range in north north to the thar desert in rajasthan are examples of varied weather conditions we have a huge coast line and hundreds of big and small river india is a land of great natural beauty our culture has dates back to thousand of years we have given the world yoga and ayurveda we have made many other proud of contributions in the field as science math philosophy and music today no speakers we are rated as an important nation thank you ma'am have a nice day Hello everyone I am Vikas from class 7 and I am going to tell you about national integration the country like india has many types of people religion caste creed and races so we need a type of thing by which we can be united and there should be no difference between each and other so when the law of 1857 held then we felt we should lead our own national integration and from there only the indian mind came that all the religions all the races all the castes will have same rights so 
at that time only national immigration was founded and mainly it was for each and every social cause asked and it was the main thing by which every democratic country should have so national integration is the main and main topic by which we can find the religions together and caste together so the first aim of national integration was to combine all the people of the india as a same if we will not same then we will have many type of fights between us this was the main topic by which all the people were thinking about but now our india is having national integration so we can see the brotherhood between all of us so that was the topic of national integration so i am thinking to know about the national integration thanks for seeing my video and i will think that you know more about the national integration which our country is having thank you for watching my video bye my name is yash amri i am studying in sixth grade today's topic is summer vacation summer vacation is the long break provided by school and college during the summer vacation it is the best time to get yourself involved in your hobbies and develop new skills during my summer break i joined the summer camp it was school i have attended singing painting karate swimming and yoga in the camp it was 15 days camp and on the last day our teacher arranged a trip to nearby national park the weather was not so favorable but we all enjoy it a lot thank you इस वीडियो को लाइक करें हमारे चैनल को सब्सक्राइब कर बेल आइकन जरूर प्रेस करें हमारी न्यू वीडियो सबसे पहले देखने के लिए